<clears throat> major spoilers. Potentially major spoilers for episode 7. So, please don't stick around if you don't want to get spoiled. Because, uh, this stuff could be pretty huge. Okay, you're still here? Let's stop wasting time then. Holy shit. Okay, we have a lot to go over. Starting off... Our girl Jay has finally gotten a plushie. Yes, yes, she, she's the best. She is the best character. Jay is the best character. I have waited so long. I have waited so long. This basically confirms that Jay is going to be pretty pivotal inside the finale. So, uh, thank God for that. She doesn't look too happy, but you can't really blame her. She was introduced in 2021. And if you can't tell, that was quite a while ago. Anyways, here's the description of the Jay plush. With the Jay plush, the gang's all here. Recreate your favorite disassembly drone scenes, such as Jay yelling at N, Jay hitting N, or Jay threatening N's life and trying to end the planet. That certainly is a description. There's not much else to say, really. It's, um, just Jay as a plushie. This is without doubt the best new piece of merch. Next up, we have the Doll Animates figure. The figure itself looks nice, but, um, yeah, her hair is not it. It genuinely just looks like a giant mop. My opinion aside, the description says this. Doll's not gone. She's right here with us. She's actually always with us. Following. Always following us. Forever. <laughs> okay, my apologies. Now look at those first three words. Doll's not gone. Now, I may just be delving a bit too deep into this, but given the fact that, you know, the entire group's after her right now, it is not looking good for her. I am really hoping for another rematch between Doll and Uzi. The knife dance was peak, and if there was a rematch, man, that would just be so damn good. We are yet to see if Doll has a solver form. Considering the fact that Uzi has one, we can assume she probably does. Now, I will say this. Considering the fact that Doll didn't have any dialogue in Episode 6, she better do something cool in Episode 7. She likely is not going to survive it, or she'll probably just die at the end. So, um, yeah. Here's to hoping. And, oh my god, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. The Jay-Z Jensen branded pen. Now, this is all cool and all, but that price tag, man. 12 bucks for one pen? Jay is absolutely hooked. Okay, um, here's the description of our beautiful Jay-Z Jensen pen. Bless the well-made quality assured durability of Jay-Z Jensen. This pen even comes with a free onboarding pamphlet to indoctrinate you to prepare for a lit- <laughs> Okay, I don't have the rest of it, but you can probably fill it in with a bunch of other company buzzwords. Overall, I'm glad they did this. 12 bucks is, uh, definitely pushing it though. And the two keychains, which, uh, certainly exist. I don't really like the keychains that much, but that's kind of just my opinion. Oh, uh, was I saying something? Oh, yeah, the keychains. Here's the J keychains description. Jay's not hanging around on company time. She's doing business. The business of making sure that you keep doing your business. And business is booming. Designed by at puppy 14 I gotta say, this is genuinely beautiful. Love the detail of her just hanging out at Tessa's ship. It's pretty consistent with what Jay did in episode 6. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Next up, the V keychain. V's just hanging out. Come a little closer, it'll be fine. The claws are just there so she can give you an even bigger hug. Designed by Cheer puppy Once again, did an amazing job. Between the two of them, I definitely like the J one more. I mean, look at that face. You're worthless and terrible. Saving the best for last, we have the, uh, Uzi ac Acrylic stand. Pronunciation aside, this is the description. A hapless drone host to an eternal entity. Will she succumb or will she ascend? The stand is just pure eye candy. It, it's really, really good looking. Now, uh, in case you've forgotten, the last time we had a stand like this, it was for V. And given what happened to V last time, does this mean Uzi's next? I mean, I can totally see it happening, but that would also mean that N dies in episode 8. Man, we <laughs> oh, the fandom is so gonna be done after this. Oh, there's also the Murder Drones notebook, but I don't have the description for it. I guess you can buy it and write your own description for it? That that's, that's some good advertising right there. And those are all the leaks. Thank you all for watching, and have yourself an excellent day.